Hello, I'm Daniel from the Pilot team, and I will give a short introduction into the new update service feature for Viscontin Pilot 5.4 and Media Sequence Engine 120. The update service mechanism lets the template designer decide when to update data in the template and also which fields to update. This is useful for data that should be updated right before going on air. Typical examples are stock values, player statistics, etc. The update service feature is meant to replace the old live update mechanism. Unlike live update, this will not require an open VCP client running the scripts. The script is instead executed on a server and the data is returned to the media sequencer before going on air. This means that it will also work for pilot elements in a MOS playlist in Trio. So the basic workflow the designer creates a template in this template wizard based on a scene with control object plugins, like I've done here. To enable the update service or update script feature, you open the update script editor here, and it will initially have no script in here, be like this, with one sub, and this is the sub that will be triggered by the update service server. The input here is the data, uh, basically a key value pairing of the control object IDs for the field and the value. So to put in back in the script we have here, this script will go through the fields and set the value for each field to new value from script. The designer also has the possibility to control which actions the media sequencer should run this script, at which action you should run this script, with a timeout. If the media sequencer has not received a response from the script runner within this timeout, it will drop the action, not do the take or read or update. Within uh, template wizard, it is possible to test the script, to go to run mode, and if I now press load, the uh, template wizard will send the script and the data to the update service. The update service will run the script on the data and return the updated data to template wizard and run them, which will update this. And in this case also the fields in the UI. So there you see the new values set in this script. New value from script, new value from script. So now I save the template back into Oracle. When this is, uh, when an element from this template is used in the playlist, the media sequencer will communicate with the script runner. Unlike this case where the sampler wizard does it all by itself. Then the media sequencer will send the data and a reference to this script to the script runner. The script runner will then fetch the script from the Oracle database run this script on the data and return the data to the sequencer, as described. An alternative to using uh, the VCP script runner and the script, you can point the template to an external update service developed by third-party vendors or customers. This uh, service must accept an HTTP POST to any given endpoint with um, that accepts an uh, payload, VDF, uh, this data format payload. Uh, so for instance, we can do something like this. Only the fields in the incoming uh, payload or payload XML should be modified 
and the update service should not add or remove any fields. The service then returns an updated payload, like the other, like the uh, update script service, or the same payload that was posted with no changes. So that's it. And, um, good luck. <laughs>